start with today's news. Uh, Karnataka to, to uh, ask center to allow reservation within uh, ACs. So actually this reservation is a uh, long back news and many states are demanding for uh, for uh, community wise and caste wise reservation so in that line uh, this comes under gs2 polity actually the karnataka cabinet they recommended to the center government so this uh, a state is actually recommending to the center government which means this is a uh, uh, since our federalism is a strong unitary and central bias so many of the future was not given to the state some of the future were given only to the center government so to insert some a community uh, in a sc list is uh, solely lies with the uh, power of the center that is the reason why the karnataka government has uh, asked the center to insert article 341 class 3 to the constitution so that the states to provide internal reservation among the scheduled caste. So for prelims, you need to study about the inclusion procedure of um, SEs. So according to the modalities for inclusion first framed in 1999, the proposal for inclusion must actually originate from the respective state or union territory government. The proposal is not lies with the union, central government the origin should actually comes from the state or union territory after the proposal once the proposal is sent to the union uh, tribal affairs ministry then that ministry will send it to the office of the registrar general of india so then the officer of registrar general of india approves the inclusion the proposal is the then uh, forwarded to the national commission for st so this um, o, uh, this uh, orgi continues to follow the criteria set out by the local committee in 1965 because they uh, this committee will uh, actually give a certain guidelines or criteria so what are the things to be uh, considered before the community can be included in the st list like the criteria like uh, primitive tribes, distinctive culture, geographical isolation, shyness of contact with the community at large and backwardness. Only after the concurrence of these institutions, the proposal will go to the cabinet to bring in the amendment to the constitution scheduled tribe order 1950 and finally the decision rests with the president office. So they will issue a notification if there is any changes occurred. So, Calcutta High Court set up steam to verify Narega job cards. So, this comes under GS3 economy. Calcutta High Court directed for setting up a four member team for the verification of job card of Narega scheme. And this is based on district wise basis in West Bengal. So, the court ordered that there should be a genuine verification, pro, uh, verification of job cards. So, that the team of four officers consists of uh, uh, a nominee who is nominated by the central government, one by the West Bengal government, one from the CAG and one from the office of accountant general that is from West Bengal. So for prelims, the, this scheme is very important because repeatedly this scheme is coming in the news. So one of the world largest work guarantee program. Guarantee program means it ensure that there will be a compulsory employment opportunity. And it is launched in 2005 by Ministry of Rural Development. The primary objective is to guarantee 100 days of employment in every financial um, year to adult members. Remember to adult members of any rural, any rural household who are willing to do public work related unskilled manual work. So the, it is actually interpretation of article uh, 21 that is legal right to work. So the aim is to address the causes of chronic poverty uh, prevails in our country. So one third of beneficiaries have to be in women. Wages must be paid according to the statutory minimum wages specified in the Minimum Wages Act 1948. How satellites track the weather? This comes under GS3 Science and Tech. Large part of North India including Bihar, UP, Uttarakhand, Haryana, Delhi and Punjab have been grappling with heavy fog. And this fog, because of many reasons, a main major cause is a pollution 
and stubble burning that is happening in the North India. So the IMD warned that a high likelihood of very dense fog in Haryana, Chandigarh and Delhi where it said visibility would be lower than 50 meters in night or morning hours. So this has um, accompanied as um, alert with maps from the INSAT 3D satellite and INSAT 3DR satellite. So INSAT 3D satellite has a red, green, blue that is RGB image whose images colors are determined by two factors that is one is solar reflectance another one is brightness temperature. Solar reflectance is nothing but it is the ratio of the amount of solar energy reflected by the surface. Brightness temperature has to do with the relationship between the temperature of an object and the correspondence brightening of its surface. So inside 3D and 3D or satellites are currently active in, in geostationary orbits around the earth. So both inside 3D and inside 3D are use radiometers to make their spectral measurements. So a radiometer is a device that measures various useful properties of radiations. Thank you. If you have any queries, feel free to contact this number. And to follow our current affairs daily updates, follow in Kurukshetra IAS Academy Instagram channel and Facebook ID of Kurukshetra IAS. Have a great day.